Hi guys, this is Nash Sharma, and in this session, we will discuss the DAX function parallel period in Power BI. DAX parallel period, what is that? It returns a parallel period of dates by the given set of dates and a specified interval. Means this function returns a table having the single column and with the list of dates. Which dates? It could be a previous date or it could be a next date. It depends on the parameter you supply. So as you can see in the syntax, we have to supply three parameters. In first parameter dates and second one is the number of enter. This parameter could be positive or negative. If you want the list of the dates for the next period, then you pass positive value. And if you need the list of date for the back years or previous year, then you supply the negative value. And third parameter then you can mention the year, quarter or month. Now, the return type of this table is a, a table containing a single value of date value. Important point about this function is, this function does not a return single value. It returns a list of dates in a single column in a table. That's why this function cannot be used independently. So always we have to use this function like the calculate. We can use this function in calculate as a filter function. Now, the question is, why do we need this parallel period and which scenario? So you can see, suppose we have a sales and we want to compare our current sales with the previous year or the next year, say, say 2010. Now I want to compare this sales of the 2010 with the sales of the year 2011. Then the supply, then we'll supply the parameter as a positive value, say 1, 2, 3, 4. And Again, for 2010, suppose we need the comparison for the previous year, say 2009, then we'll supply the negative value in a second parameter, negative numbers value. So for this kind of sales comparison, we can use this function. Now, before we start our practical, first of all, we check the data. We have segment, sales date, gross sales and net sales. In the sales date column, we have the data for the four years. 15, 16, 17, 18, and 20. So we can compare the sales for the different years in back years or the next years. Now we check the practical of the parallel period. So you can see data already uploaded. Now a table, a table. So we need the comparison on the dates. So selection of the fields depends on your requirement. So for now, we need the comparison on the basis of the date, year. And then remove, say, quarter, month, and day. Now you can observe, so we have the five years, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. We create major, one major. M gross sales, then some gross sales. So measure it and now drag and drop this. Now we can observe, so we have the data for the current years. 15, 16. Now we create the data or we create the comparison for the parallel period. Now we want to compare the data, say suppose 15, data of the 15 with the year 16 and data of the 16 then year with the 17. Okay. Now new measure. Then M. parallel period calculate and we'll take the measure 
which we created comma parallel period first parameter that is the date second parameter it's a number of steps previous or next say for now we take only one and third parameter say year month quarter we take year now done okay we drag and drop this one period now we can check the compare we have taken the second parameter interval as a positive value say one so which means we we compare the data from current year with the next year we check the say year 2015 so next is the 16 in 2015 we have the 245 that is the current sales and 4058 this data is coming from the next year that is the 16 and it is for the current for the 16 405 same thing for 16 we have 1896 that is from the 70 for 2020 you can see there is no data because we have the data only for the up to the year 20 and we need the year 21 for the 20 so that's why it's blank okay suppose i change this second parameter i make it say minus 1 now minus one means previous year so we start from the 2020 for the 2020 the current value is the 1896 but 4754 that is from that is coming from the previous year back years and back years is the 19 and for the 19 it is coming from the 18 okay suppose i make it say positive 2 Now we check the comparison again. 4, 19, and 20. There is no data for the parallel period. Reason? If we check the 15 and then add 2 years, it is the 17. So for the 15, we have the value 1896 that is in the 17 year. It means if you add the 2 years to the 15, then it is 17 and 1896. 4, 16. It is coming from the 18 two years but for 19 it should be 21 and we do not have the data in our uh, data sheet for the 21 same thing here if you check the 20 then it should be data should be from the 22 and again we do not have the data from the 22 that's why these two uh, values for this year 1920 are blank now we check again the formula say make it one and now if we check the some graph, say a stack column chart. Now, on axis, we need only year. Now, values, gross sales, and then they can drop parallel period major. Now we can check the comparing. If we check the year from the 2015, so we have the two stack. And if you hover on the first one, then year 2015, figure is 2496. Gross sales, this is the 2496. If you check the second one, it is for the 4058. That is the 4058 from the next year, 16. Again, for the 16, we have the value 4058 that is the current and this one 1896 it's a parallel period value so this is how you can use the this parallel period function for the comparison of the sales for the back years and the next year so guys this was all about the parallel period in power by dex thanks for watching the video